Yesu Yesu mfalme tusema ni asante kwa umbali wote ambao umetutoa tunajua kwamba utaenda nasi utatishika mkono utatuongoza Mungu hata kwa neno lote ambalo tunaenda kulisikia Bwana utatusaidia kwa maana kuna Mungu aliye kama wewe kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tuomba na hata kuamini Amen Let's appreciate the praise and worship as we sit as we sit asante sana Happy New Year Happy New Year God is good Mwadhani ya gosho Uh, it's good to see all of you in the new year. Uh, it's good to see as many as you are to come to the service today. The Lord bless you. You know we have had services and we were not very many so we thought even today we have one service. But that tells us that many of you have come from holiday. Some and some of you have come from visiting and so we will come you back to St Peter's Cathedral as from next Sunday we are hoping to continue with our three services. Actually four services. And therefore, I greet you again and thank you for, for coming today. Indeed, as uh, our lady Dadia said, uh, you did come because of your expect, uh, being expectant that the Lord is here and the Lord is with us. Oh, I saw somebody. I thought it's Lenny. Lenny Lenny has uh, been with us, and uh, she has now gone to study. She has not yet gone to study, but she is now been released by the diocese. Uh, Jonah has gone to minister at around at an area called Narumoru, and uh, Mr. Morena has just gone to be with the Sunday school. That is our pastoral team, and uh, others also are, are committed elsewhere. We pray for Lady Da Aris. Uh, the husband was taken to Kenyatta National Hospital yesterday, but he is stable. He is stable. He, she called me. She is he is stable. It's only that there was no bed around uh, near the town. Now, today I'm happy to be here also in the new year. And I'm reminded, in fact, we were sharing with my wife um, uh, how, they, how they received the new year. When I was young, I kept, uh, when it was around midnight and people were celebrating, I, I would look at the sky and see how that year comes and the old one goes. I don't know how many of us have that experience of trying to see how the new year comes and the old one goes. Hmm? I don't know how many of us have that experience. And uh, of course, many people will say many things that there is an experience. But you know, uh, time belongs to who? Time belongs to God. He is everlasting to everlasting. And therefore, we are the people who are the people who count time, but he is everlasting to everlasting. All time, he is the owner of all times, and he is... He has all the time. And therefore, New Year is for us who are human. And it is possible, it is important to have that time for us. In fact, the other day, I think the day before the New Year, we had the Young, young Couples Fellowship. And as we were coming up, I was, uh, uh, I was asking what we shall do because we had, they had a bonfire here. And one of them told me, you know, it is already New Year in some countries. And uh, uh, so we are waiting hours to come. But it is already New Year in some other countries. Now, today is very special for us as we are reminded of a few things of the, of the new year. As Canon Gishoki has rightly said, we are still in the season of Christmas. Hatujatoka kwa season ya Christmas. Tuko katika ile msimu wa Christmas. Hata kama nyimbo mmeona tunaimba za Christmas. Mambo mengi ni ya Christmas. Katika ile msimu wa Christmas. Indeed, this is actually the second week of Christmas. But when is counting is about a week from Christmas. And therefore today I want us to think about Christmas and what goes on with Christmas. But above all, my theme today will be handling the threats of salvation uh, in the year 2022. Handling the threats of uh, salvation in the year 2022. Kuangalia kwamba ile jambo kabisa. wokovu wetu. Katika mwaka huu wa kalne ya kalne hii, shilina, uh, shilina mbili. Lead, handling the threats of salvation. And uh, I was trying to look at salvation. What is salvation? Wokovu ni nini? Tunamasema wokovu, tumiokoka. Wokovu ni nini? Hii wokovu tunaungea juu yake ni nini? And uh, I, I have two words. One is Yeshua, which is uh, uh, Hebrew. And the other one is Soteria, which is Greek. But both mean salvation. And salvation, according to theology, is what God has done 
in his mercy for his sinful human person or sinful creation. What God has done in his mercy, what God has done in his mercy for the creation. And part of that creation is a human person, the humanity. That is what God has done, salvation. And let me tell you, God has done so much. God has done so much. There is so much mercy that has been poured for our salvation. You know, mercy is when you do not deserve. It's not what you have earned. Sio ulifanya ajabu fulani ama ulisema ajabu fulani ndio kwa ndio uonewe huruma. Sio kwamba umefanya ajabu yoyote. Ni ile tu ambayo Mungu mwenyewe kuona kwamba wewe mwenyewe huwezi kujisaidia anakusaidia. That is mercy. Mercy is what God does for you. That which you cannot do for yourself. Mercy is what God does for us that we cannot earn for anything. Sio sadaka, sio kutoa eh, tithe kubwa, sio kuja kanisani, sio kuvaa vizuri, sio kuzaliwa kama Mkristo. Ile mercy ambayo Mungu anafanya hiyo ndiyo inaitwa salvation. And God has done so much for salvation. And there are several other words ambao tunatumia kwa salvation, tunatumia redemption, tunatumia justification, tunatumia deliverance. Hiyo yote ni kumaanisha that is salvation. There is so much God has done for our salvation. There is so much God has done for our redemption. Kununuriwa, yeah? redemption. There is so much God has done for our justification. Justification is when you are said, wewe, sasa wewe uko huru, wewe unafa, you are justified. And you, are, you can never justify yourself for anything. It's good that I start there. There is nothing that can justify myself. Sio kwamba mimi ni mchugaji, sio kwamba mimi ni archdeacon, sio kwamba mimi ni it, there is nothing I can do for my own justification apart from what God can do. And this year I want us to think about how can we handle the threats of that which has been done. Wajua kwamba kuna mambo mengi tumepokea. Wale wale ambao wako hapa labda wame inherit kitu ambacho wakichukua chao, there is something you do to keep that inheritance. There is something you do. There's something you do to keep that which you have earned for yourself also. But let us think about what can we do about, about what has been done for us. And every act of God to help humanity uh, when it's, they are faced with opposition, is always faced with opposition. Every effort God has done to help humanity is faced with opposition. Jambo lolote mungu wamefanya kutuokoa kila wakati yeah, there is always opposition to what God has done. From the Satan, from the evil one, from the evil forces, there is always opposition. Kwa hile mungu wa mekufanya, kuna mambo ya napingana. Na hile mambo mungu wa mekufanya. There is always opposition. It's good that we are aware of that. It's also be good to be aware that uh, uh, what can we do? What can we do? that can help us to arm ourselves when opposition to handle that which has been earned for us comes to us. Tutafanya nini wakati yu opposition inaingia katika yale maa mungu wa metufanya. Our passage for today, that was Matthew chapter 2, uh, verse 13 following, ikona ujumbe muhimu sana. In fact, I read this, uh, 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 I read this uh, passage for a, very, for a very long time before I got this message from the Lord. Ana nilikuwa naona kama nimekosea kwa sababu on 28 this, this was the same passage that we did read but that time it was the feast of the holy innocent you know there is a feast called holy innocent the holy innocent is when the children were killed and we observe it in the church this was the same passage and i thought kwani hawa wana, watu wanakosea wanajurudia kwa nini but this passage uh, this became came so strongly to me that there is something there are threats to our salvation and there is something that we must do Kuna jambo lazima tufanye diyo tuweze kuchunga hile ambayo tumefanyiwa. Ya kwanza, nataka tuangalie mabu makchache kuhusu hile soma tulisoma. We read from Matthew 2 verse 13, tukaenda mpaka verse 23. And this is a passage that reminds us of what happened when the wise men came visiting. Wale mama juzi walikuja kutembea na kumuona huyu mtoto yesu. And you know, because the wise men were not just any other person, they had first to go to Herod. Herod was a senior person. In fact, he was called the king of the Jews. He was uh, reigning on the, on the area that the Jews were living in, uh, around Palestine and all that. And therefore they came to him and they said, we have come because to meonyeshwa kuna